Hello everyone. It's time for a random stream. We're going to play a game called Volgar the Viking. Plum, who you can now see is also playing Volgar the Viking, has challenged me to play this game and even paid for it. So we're going to have a look at it. Kind of not quite my first time. I played it long enough to kind of learn how the game mechanics work. Uh, very, very fun little action game. Very kind of Conan the Barbarian-y kind of aesthetic with all the difficulty of your average Ghost and Goblins game. It does not mess around. The enemies just keep coming and they will kill you. A lot. So, we're gonna see how we do. See if we can get anywhere in it. Just kinda dispatch a couple of guys. Um, very very simple game in terms of just the way it's played, just run and gun, kind of like uh, Noi to Love was. And the more treasures you find, the more upgrades you have. But as far as I can tell, if you get hit once, forget about it. Your upgrades are all. Oh, they actually scale down. That's nice. Extra hits are always good. We'll need every single one we can get, I think. Uh, ropes, you actually have to hit up or down to climb when you jump. You don't just automatically grab onto them. And if you land on a serpent, you're dead. See? Fairly straightforward. So, we'll respawn and just get right back into it. And we'll see how we play out. Uh, some things can actually be blocked by the shield. That's the whole point of it. I don't really really know what the helmet's good for yet. Like I said, this is kind of blind, so we'll find out. Hopefully. Uh, for now, we'll go ahead and get a fresh helmet. Hmm. Not really sure what it's good for yet, except for an extra hit. Yep. Go ahead and spear that guy. Uh, it has a Castlevania rule where if you hit up and your weapon, you'll throw a you'll throw a sub weapon, which in this game is a spear. Uh, oof! Really comes in handy there. That is kind of a BS jump to have to make. Uh, you seem pretty dangerous. Let's just cut you down, I guess. Uh, Wait, we get down stabs? Oh, we have down stabs. This game is now the best game ever. Okay. We have down stabs. I'm going to move my chat out of the way so I can see it better. Go ahead and get into it. We have down stabs. I am extremely happy now. Do we have up stabs? Nope, but we can throw spears while jumping, I guess. I'll take it. Let's see if we can... Nice! Excellent! That's how you're actually supposed to get the helmet. That's fancy. Oh yeah, you get that jumping swing thing that you can do there. That's always nice. We used it at the very beginning to get down to this area, past the beginning section. And... Okay, that was... That was amazing! I just showed off actually being good at video games, just for you guys. Followed it up by failing miserably, but still, the save to before that was fantastic. Um, since we're not getting very far, I'm going to guess that these crystals represent respawn points. Kind of like checkpoints in a game. You, get, you see a crystal, you respawn there is my guess. I don't actually know. But we'll see. We'll see if we can actually get any further. Or we can just get punched while trying to downstab a rock. I will say this about this game so far. Even when you die, it's really fancy. Uh, the infinite lives thing, I'm guessing it's infinite, uh, is nice for a game like this. With the Ghost and Goblins, like, getting a game over is just miserable and it's going to happen a lot. So... 
We'll go ahead and avoid these guys for a moment, collect the monies, which hopefully that's used for something besides just look at all the money I have. Go ahead and helmet up here. Nicely done to take that out. Go ahead and get right back to this. Ah, I can't... Well, that was swift. Go ahead and spear... Ooh! Took the hit we didn't mean to take there. Okay. But we have more money. That will probably mean something later. I actually really like the reach on the uh, sword there. Something I don't know if I've mentioned, but you, you've just seen it in action. Ouch. Is that the spears will stick into walls. Which give you an extra platform to jump on. That's really handy. Volgar here. Yeah. He's pretty badass. He's got the. He's got the pimp beard. He's got everything he really needs to be amazing. We'll just go ahead and quickly duck in there. That's just time. Oh, wait. We got, we're going to get the first level shield if a bee doesn't kill us first. So. <sighs> yep. I like that they give you the free upgrade there. I don't know. If we all ever even reach the halfway point, so we can find out if the uh, second level shield is just given to you. But, yeah, we'll see what happens. I think I might have said that one or two many times. Sword has pretty good reach. Um, go ahead and see if we can downstab this darn snake. Okay, down stabbing that snake is a terrible idea. Don't do it. Okay, Plum trying to drop the hints says to spin attack that spider. We'll see how that plays out. Um, I want to be the guy's kind of nice spin attack. That's beautiful. Um, I want to be the guy is more designed with unfair platforming challenges. This is more just spamming enemies until you can't handle it, which is Ghosts and Goblins deal. Which is also fantasy. It plays more the knight rescuing the damsel aesthetic, whereas this is just straight up, I'm a barbarian, let's pillage. Which is good. So we're going to try once again to downstep the snake and die for it. Thanks for that. I don't think we're downstabbing that snake anymore no matter how valuable the technique is. We'll just spear a few people here because we have infinite spears. Quickly dispatch those bees. Um, as you can kind of tell, the color of the enemy determines, at least apparently, especially for these running lizards, the color determines how strong they are. Whereas these green ones can be taken out with one hit. Oh, nicely done by me. Um, the blue ones take two, and I'm going to guess there's more that go up from there. Nope. Downstab is negative EV in that case. We'll just go ahead and spear this from a safe distance where we don't have to deal with it. Stick a spear in a wall for jumping purposes. That's what Plum wanted me to do with the spin attack, so that's handy. Okay, if you're too close to the wall, you can't stick a spear into it, so we'll do it from back here. 
and doing the doing the double jump turned out to be a very bad idea, but it's all right. Okay, this follows Castlevania 1 rules where once you're jumping, you're committed to your jump. You absolutely... Yep, there we go. Go ahead and get a shield. And lose it immediately. Ooh. I'm not sure what that's all about. Maybe that's a useful thing? Well, if Plum doesn't know, clearly it serves nothing. Getting hit by enemies we can't see because of foreground. Classic video game aesthetic, I love it. Go ahead and get our shield back. Clearly, the key to playing this game well is not getting hit at all if you can avoid it. Uh, and it's really difficult. Not a down stab, but you'll get the job done. Yeah. Plum's actually pretty accurate here. She refers to it as a memorization and speedrun challenge, which is basically what games like this are. If you're familiar with, like, your Gradiuses, that sort of game, very same principle. So we'll go ahead and helmet a couple bees real quick. I don't know if I've mentioned this late yet, but I've kind of got a sore throat going on because of my birthday stream. Five and a half hours of just straight talking, nearly endless, is just bad for everyone. Especially bad for me because I'm going to talks. In any case, our hero Vulgar, I'm going to call him. Um, instead of Vulgar, I'm calling him Vulgar because, you know, puns. And we have our default shield back, which is basically a free hit. Which we're going to need every single one of those we can get. Alright, so ladder. Alright. Legitimately, no more downstabbing. Period. Not on this snake. It's just not happening. Not for me. I get too angry when I try and fail at a downstab, so we're gonna go ahead and just be patient. Which, this game actually tries to punish patience by having, you know, infinitely spawning lizard guys. There's ways. Here's a section where we are able to be patient. We'll just wait for him to move past his drop and let the shield absorb that. And then just stay back here and spear this flower to death. No danger. Oh! You can charge up your spear, which is handy for some things. Just... And that's how you mostly do that, until you fail that section of it.
Ooh. Yep, if you hold up, you'll charge your spear. I think Plum is trying to get me to do Emperor Voice, and it's not happening today. Uh, Plum has. Plum finished. She's on level 2 right now, as a matter of fact. Probably looked an awful lot like this. So... This is one of those games where watching somebody struggle through it is part of the entertainment value, I think. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing it. Okay, that was just... Yeah. I think I just saw something I need to go pursue, so... We're gonna go look into that on this life. I... very much feel the need. To pursue a thing I just saw. So let's see what's up here. Well, it's a replacement for my helmet, which is worth it. So, hey, another treasure. Always nice to find secrets like that. Make you feel good inside. I may not be good at the combat, but you have to work get it pretty early in the morning to hide a secret from Old Morn. Oh, see? Bad at the combat, bad at the platforming. Why am I playing this again? No, you don't. Okay, yes, you do. Well, now that we know where our hidden treasure is, if we can be better at the game, we'll actually start getting some serious upgrade action here. It's really a good thing the sword has the reach it does. If it didn't, we'd be in serious trouble a lot. Like, I know I'm making this probably look actually even more difficult than it is. But, yeah. This is one of the games I'd probably play uh, if I had the option, with the judicious use of save states. No, we do not jump off like that. That's not how that works. But you know what we should do, real quick? Just to give ourselves a better platform, if we can... Think I yep. So nothing get No you don't. So now we'll see what the upgrade past the helmet is. Been excited about this one. Oh we We are He Man now. We have the power.
So now we have a really nice flaming sword that we just lost along with our helmet. That's fancy. Oh. Sorry about that. People are distracting me in life, which is what fine was important, something actually relevant. This game is the devil. Whoa, hey now. Okay, so simple dodging puzzle here, which I have failed at. Uh huh. Plum asks me if I want a pro tip for dealing with red dudes. I have a pro tip for myself for dealing with red dudes hit them without myself getting hit. That's pretty much the strategy for this game. Oh, I got distracted and looked away long enough to get hit. That's beautiful. As Plum correctly pointed out, we can do that. And get a little bit more height. Of course, it actually doesn't help here, so... Go ahead and do our standard one. Yep. Oh, I did not hit up there. That is the game robbing me. But fortunately, we do have a shield replacement right here. Carefully avoid bees. Use the plum method of spin attacking that spider to death, because why not? Okay, that's supposed to be what you do there, okay. Much easier to handle. No! That's basically what this game is, in a nutshell, right there. The thing you just heard? Oh, so that's what I was supposed to... No! The more pained and anguish the no, I think the more accurately you're playing the game. See, first thing I would do if I were patching this game in some way would be to make it so that when you jump on the, uh, basically the tops of those ropes would not have a hitbox like that. That really gets in the way of some of the platforming. I wonder if Plum is lying to me here. Probably.
I thought I had one there. But then I got clubbed in the face with a club. So really, you didn't know you could downstab a stone block? I mean, it just... There's clearly a reason the block is there, right? I mean, it's different from the rest of the background, so it must mean something. That's, you know, Game Design 101. Okay, it's not Game Design 101. Game Design 101 is... That an invitation? Oh, come on! Castlevania jumping screwed me on that one. You, the only control you have on your jump direction is by double jumping, which really gets annoying. Can I land on top of this? So it only hit boxes from below. That That's fancy. That's very poor design, I'm sorry to say it outright. That'd be annoyed me. I don't think the things I get wound up by are funny, quite honestly. Oh, this is a thing that hinders my game experience. Yeah, I'm gonna get annoyed by that. I just caught that on the bounce. That was pretty cool. There's a way to deal with him. Oh! I tried to quickly jump, and the game is... Okay. Alright. Alright, fine. We'll demonstrate exactly why that hitbox is a problem. Just for you. In fact, I just want a new life just to demonstrate it. Wank. How <laughs> do you? Timing? Is it timing? Look to me like it could have been timing. Okay. Here's a good example. Let's say I want to jump from here. Nope. 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 Tell me that doesn't get in the way. Okay. Okay, first of all, Bull, I'm just, I'm mad now, I'm dying, just because I'm angry. While that's perfectly fair, if I want realism in a game, or realism at all, I'll just go outside. I play games because they're not realistic. But right here, that hit really good because we have to jump off of this thing onto the platformer for the, onto this little spear here for a secret. And if you're too high on the rope, you hit the thing and fall down, and that gets really, really frustrating very quickly. Face the correct way. 
That's combat roll, which is down plus jump, for those who don't know. Okay. Jumping from bit lower is fair, but here's where I have a problem with that. Why can't I land on it? Clearly, there's a pulley there that gets in the way of my jump, right? Or some... or a... you know, stick... log that the... rope is attached to. I want to land on that log. If I'm going to hit it, like that... I want... I want to be able to land on it. Even if I immediately roll off, that's fine. I just want some acknowledgement other than screwing me jumping from below. I think that's... very unfair. We'll just avoid him. By the way, I'd like to point out that Vikings don't have good enough balance to stand on a log, but they can stand on a spear. So that's a thing that happened. <laughs> that was fun! I like that death. That was great. By the way, we'll just combat roll through, guys, because why not? Just to demonstrate why that's a bad move. Huh. <sighs> There's my pro tip for dealing with the blue guys. Just murder them from a distance. I have a fun question. What is Volgar climbing? Okay, so he does that, but so... Where's he getting his sword from there? Like, I don't mind that he can't access his shield. Or whatever while on the ropes, and he can't access his spear because it's so strapped to his back, but where the heck is the sword? Worth it! Absolutely worth it. Because now we can have the power of Grey's Skull again. Plum's a real comedian over here. Treasure! Hey! I guess we're fully upgraded now. To answer your question... Wow! Oh, hey. Instinctive spear throw. Perfect. Oh! Nah, 
vibe. I don't think I have the patience at this point in my life for this game anymore. <laughs> this style of game. I haven't even played Ghosts and Goblins through. We'll go a little while longer. Oh, come off it. This is the kind of game where if I was playing it on like a console or a portable system at work, I'd be doing it for hours. But, sorry, but to be fair, part of the reason I wanted to stream this live and cold was just to entertain people with deaths. So hopefully that's working out. Nope! Let's try to time this right. Ah, I tried to spin attack there and did not time it right. So, that answers that question. Okay, hold on a second. That's it. Oh, hey, we can zoom out. I don't know how I zoomed out. Sorry, I was just very curious about that. Okay, so you can do it anywhere, so that's not the point of these little glowy spots. Always gotta pursue money. Maybe. Okay, that was a little too high on that one. Neat. To the lower one. Come on. Nope. Aim in the wrong way for no reason at all because I didn't even hit right. But we got a helmet back, so whatever. See, this spear is another place where hitting your head on that little log is a silly thing to have happen. No! Why am I facing the wrong way? Yeah. If you want to play, you know, shieldy blocky games with them, you just gotta time your hits better. <sighs> Don't even care anymore. Let's just get on with it. There. That'll do. I hit the button in time, I'm calling shenanigans. It's 
So I have a feeling Plum is going to be winning the speedrunning type challenge on this. I don't think I'm even going to get through the first level on this stream. Because I can already feel my face turning red. I like Super Meat Boy too, but the levels are shorter than this and you don't have to... Yeah. Oh, I'm sure that the helmet, now that I come back to thinking about that bit, I'm sure the helmet does have some sort of pr from above protection. That actually makes sense. So we'll just go ahead and come down here. Why did I... I'm actually pretty mad right now. Uh, timing is timing. Let's go. No! Go away! Go away! <laughs> I'm sure it's taking me longer than it should to just be able to breeze through this, but... That's the way this goes. Well, I want the upgrades. The more upgrades I have, the better, I think. You have to admit, you want me to demo what's past, like, the treasures and such, don't you? So, with that in mind, getting all the upgrades gives me better odds of that. Alright. You can't actually get up there. It's just easier if you have a little more room to maneuver. Deal with you, like the smart people would. Oh. I feel like there's something pretty unavoidable about that. Nope! Did not die, at least. That's as good as I'll take. If I could at least make it to this checkpoint, I'd be alright. <sighs> okay. Plum called it out. Let's see what happens if I don't go for treasure finding on every single run. If 
Very probably. Pretty mad about that. Just to prove I actually was paying attention. Okay, that is fairly upsetting. So we'll go back and we'll get our upgrades. Probably be our last run for right now. Um, I'm kind of hungry and there's water boiling for macaroni and cheeses, so we're going to do some of that, I think. Come back when my face is less red. We'll probably do another stream or two of this at some point. That was unnecessary of me. We'll see how far we can get with the power of Grey Skull on this run, but then we'll probably call it done. Bull! Absolute bull. There, we're done here. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope I demonstrated exactly why I shouldn't play games like this live. So, we'll see you next time.